Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hope Fueled Planner. And this planner is a weekly Christian planner. So we'll go through that just here in a second. Um, this is a little card that came with the planner that I thought was really nice. It says, Hope Fueled by the Power of the Holy Spirit, Not My Performance. And that's definitely something I know. When I get really busy and there's a lot of craziness going on and I'm working and things at home, it's just a little message there that I need to remember for myself. And then it says, running on empty, do you ever feel like you are running on empty? You want to get ahead, but no matter how hard you work, chase your goals, or get organized, you still, still feel drained and not fulfilled. The world says, just try harder. But God says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. And that is Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. And it says, Refuel by Faith, we want to help you find the type of fulfillment that comes from filling the gaps of your faith, not by being productive. We hope our products will ignite a fire within you to seek a vibrant relationship with God every day, not just on Sundays, by reading your Bible, refining your faith, and spending more time in prayer to improve your spiritual health, not your daily performance. And then down here is their website where you can check out their products, and I will post a link below in the description as well. So as I said, this is their um, weekly planner. And you can see on the front, we have Hope Planner in gold. We have uh, the gold coils here for its spiral bound. And this is like a, um, kind of like a, a gray slash light blue um, cloth over board cover. So that's really nice. And then on the back, you have Hope Fuel. And I love that little anchor symbol. I think that's such a good way to remember that what we need to anchor ourselves and our lives in God. And then you, when you open it up, you're going to get a front pocket here and you have a bookmark that you can stick in wherever you're at in the planner. And it has Psalm 119, 105, and then a prayer on that. So that's really nice. And then we also have um, tabs to put on because this planner is undated so you can start at any time. So if you ha were looking for a planner for 2023 or just for the next year and you haven't quite found one yet and it's getting, you know, we're getting into the year here, we're uh, well into February now, you could, t you could start this one anytime. So that would be a good purchase at this point. So then they have a quick note to say that we updated the design. So if you've used it before, it just gives you a um, little bit of information about how this one is different. So check that out, especially if you had one before and you want to see how it's changed. Okay, so then we have a place here that you can write your name in. I have not written anything in this yet because I did want to show it to you first, just the way it's going to um, come in the mail, the way you would see it. And then I will update later. I'm thinking I may use this one as my work planner. I'm using a happy planner currently. So I'm going to finish that. I have a couple more months in that one yet. And I was thinking to start using this one for the next upcoming school year. But we will see. I tend to find um, purposes for several different planners. Um, I've showed in a video before. I have one for work. I have one for at home. And then I have one for scripture writing. So we'll see. I'm thinking this will be my next work planner. But we will see how this goes in the future here. So then you have a little welcome here. It just um, gives the definition of hope. It gives you the purpose of the planner, which is for them, they have said to organize your life and to invigorate your faith. And then the author here just kind of goes over her journey and why she got started and then talks about what your journey might look like. Of course, everyone's will be different, but it just gives you an idea of where you can get started. And then we have why daily Bible study matters and how to use this weekly planner. So I like that they have all of this, all of these little um, articles and information at the beginning telling you how you could use your planner. Of course, everyone's journey is going to be different and you can use it however you want. But sometimes when you open a new planner and it's blank, it can be a little overwhelming as, okay, where do I start? What do I want to use this for? So it's just nice to have some guidelines there if you're looking for that. And this is just an example a layout here of how you could use your planner. And then we have this year I will, 
And it says, use this space to brainstorm or refresh your goals of the year, personal health, career ambitions, family, financial, everything weighing on your heart that you want to make time for. Write it here to remember throughout the year. And then the next page we have, write your why. Why are you making daily Bible study a priority in your life? How does your relationship with God fit into your day? Write down your why here to keep yourself accountable throughout the year. Doodle, get creative, and fill the entire page with your inspiration. And then we have a scripture here, Lamentations 321. Some lined paper. This would be your first tab where you would put your first Wherever you're starting, whether it be January or later in the year, you put that here. And then for this month, you have a note page and you have a devotion page. So scripture study, memory verse, encouraging words. This month I will make time for. And then a, a place to list any projects you want. Um, write down about any progress. And then just a little more space for notes. And then you're going to get a monthly calendar. Now, as I said before, this is undated. So you will have to write the dates in. But for me personally, I like when planners are undated because then you can start them wherever you want. If you miss a month somewhere for some reason, you can pick up wherever you left off. So that's really helpful, I think, in my opinion. There's a place for a prayer list here off to the side. And then we have a scripture at the top of each um, calendar page. And then we have a place for devotion. It says scripture, confess, praise, and prayer. And then over here, it says, Father, reveal to me how I can work for your glory and the good of others this week. Use this space for sermon notes, grocery lists, team meeting agendas, meal plan, or a big picture of the week. So you could take this to church and use it for sermon notes, or you could use it for pretty much anything there. Okay, so that was Sunday of the first week, all those pages. And then these are the weekly layout, and this has Monday through Saturday. So they give you extra space for Sunday in case you would like to use that for sermon notes or a specific Bible study or to write out prayers, etc., whatever you choose to use it for. But on the weekly spread, you're going to have the day of the week, like it starts on Monday, and then you're going to have this space for writing. There's a place for notes at the bottom of the page. And there's like a habit tracker down here that you could mark in. Use that for whichever habit you choose to um, track weekly. Down here we have devotional habits. So Bible study, prayer and quiet time, a practice memory verse. And then there's space for you to write two of your own. And then you can track that with a little um, daily bubbles down here to check off how often you've done it. And then there's a spot to remember in prayer if you have a specific prayer request for that week that you want to record there. Paper seems nice and thick. Like I said, I haven't written in it yet, but to me, it feels like it'll hold up pretty well to pretty much any pen. But as always, you know, test out your pens. Have a tester page somewhere, just like I always say in my Bibles, just to make sure you're not going to be disappointed with how it looks. And I love that each page also still has a scripture at the top, just like the monthly calendar did. And then the end of the week, you're going to have another Sunday spread. So another devotion with a scripture, confess, praise, and prayers. And then that spot for extra notes. So that is what the weekly spread is going to look like. And it's the same for each month. Uh, there is a different scripture at the top of each weekly page and monthly page. Well, there's one per week, not every page. Like this, It's on the right-hand side for the weekly pages. But you get one scripture per week, and I like that because it gives you something to meditate on. It could be your memory verse for the week, uh, whatever you choose to do with that. So that's what we're going to see throughout this whole planner. Every month is laid out the same, of course. And, and this is for an entire year. I know some planners out there are like six months or quarterly. This is a yearly planner, so you do have everything you need for a full year. Just checking out to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure that that's just, yes, that's the end then. The last page, we do have notes for next year. It says, chances are there will be things that will come up on your schedule that you'll want to jot down even farther in the future. If you haven't ordered your next hope planner, use this space to write down these things you want to remember. Then order your next hope planner online, and it gives you their website to do so. So, very beautiful planner. Got my page stuck there on the 
on the coils, so I will fix that in just a moment here. We won't we'll bore you trying to fix that on camera. But that is the weekly Hope Planner um, from Hope Fuel, and I will post the link below so you can see um, for yourself what they offer and what this looks like. If this does appear to be a small business, so if you are in looking out there looking for a Christian planner, this would be a great business to support. And it looks like the pages will be pretty thick and this will hold up pretty well th for that whole year. And there's lots of space in it to be creative and make it your own. But yet there's also all those notes at the beginning if you are looking for guidelines and just a little help getting started in your planner. So definitely check it out. I plan to use this one, like I said, I'm thinking right now I'll use it for my next work planner, but we will see where the Lord leads on that.